So Chris Angel. Oh boy. He yeah, watches, Chris Angel. You're watching his new show on Spike, huh? Yeah. Now I, I have a theory, and it's only because the show is so utterly bad. Uh, it's Chris Angel, you know. He's uh, you know, the the big Vegas magician. And uh he's doing these unbelievable stunts and fucking magic and illusions and whatnot. And it's called Believe. Right. But they capitalize the A L I E in Believe. Right. So it says lie. So I'm speculating. Right. Only because this can't possibly be someone's idea of good magic and illusions. That it's all done on purpose. Like, hey, assholes, look at me. I'm doing horrible magic. I'm lying. This isn't believe. It's a lie. It's it's obviously I'm faking all of these. Now watch. I Because I, I can't imagine anyone no, thinks. He's not that clever. Can I see that insignia? Or the, uh, he's not that clever. And he's that's probably his way around lawsuits in some weird way. I, I don't know. It's so He's so bad. You think too much of him. He's not that clever. <laughs> He's not that clever. I <laughs> like the clever. guy, too. He came in. He was cool enough. He's great. He liked us, but this is just horrendous. Don't try this at home. Where's the belief there? I want to see that. Uh, oh, okay. This episode of Believe. Believe. Oh, my God. Is that right? Oh, no, you nailed it. I want to pay homage to Dini by attempting an escape with two... Straight jackets while suspended high in the air with weight around my neck. That's putting pressure in your carotid artery. The no, struggle, two straight you jackets, huh? Yeah. yeah. So cute. How you gonna I hang like that? Some of mystery yeah. jackets. <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, it's just it's probably ridiculous. Don't just wait. God, <laughs> I would just right come. Here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he goes back to his little Long Island home. And why is mommy worried? I don't know well, if I'm going to be successful if I dangerous. attempt to be the first person to escape two jackets and well, there'll be 50 pounds around my neck. If he died, we'd have heard about it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> with a 50 pound weight around his uh, neck with a noose. Oh, look, he's on top of the Luxor. And then, uh oh, look, he's going to levitate. He's just fly. He flies. He's an amazing flying man. Look! Look, people are looking up like, oh my god, he's he's floating in midair. Chris Angel, believe. Well, yeah, it looks like all the letters are the same size. Yeah, but the, 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 on, on other graphics, they show them where it's lie is um, thicker. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Right. How is he not scared of that being up that high? I would be. Because he's attached to a crane with cables. He can't get hurt. <laughs> right. All sorts of Christ. wires and shit. <laughs> yes. And there's nothing to worry about. Right. <laughs> so, what did he do last night that bothered you? See, look, the lie is, like, highlighted right. on the side of the Luxor. Oh. Well, last night, uh, I watched, the, they do the marathon before the big new episode. Mm. And I watched the one that I had missed, which is him, um... Bringing a dead person back to life. <laughs> All right. Was the person really dead? Oh. Can't you look that up? It was Shaq. It was Shaq Balloon all over again. Oh, it no. It was a dummy. Right. It was a dummy or, or something laying on the table. Right. And it was supposed, to, supposed to be Why some Why wouldn't they use a real dead cadaver. guy? Cadaver. Well, because they couldn't, you, you wouldn't even get past the sensors <laughs> to say, we're going to show a real dead guy on a fucking gurney. A well, that would make the illusion way and, more impressive. Yeah. Well, And, and then you take the dead guy's clothes, put it in another guy that sort of looks like him, and it you're, was just you're good to go. Obviously a fake. So how does he handle this? With fake people in the No, audience. but how does he try to sell that it's an actual dead guy? He just sells it. He goes, yeah, here's the dead body. What? I gotta see a little of this. Oh, you gotta. Probably just a live person. It could be a live person in makeup. See, that's supposed to be the dead I body. I love the pans to the faces. Oh, yeah. A skeptics, paranormal experts, and medical experts to prove beyond any doubt. <laughs> yeah, it's just some about fake or guy in makeup. Or... It's real. This gentleman, he's in his early 50s. Um, you can tell that he's had an autopsy before. Um, they obviously, a deceased individual. Why is the, the video, video frozen? Oh. Why, why, why can't we just watch a video? Why, why, why is the video, video frozen? 
It's just for whoa, whoa, whoa. Chris what? Angel froze it. The device has been brought today. Uh, K2 EMF meter. It yeah, yeah. Uh, hold on. <laughs> they, what? they got paranormal experts uh, in the room, and they have these uh, uh, certain uh, meters and gauges and whatnot that That's they right. put up by yeah. the dead guy, and they just start jumping like crazy. It looks like an ohm meter and fucking right. volt meters and stuff you pick up at Radio Show. No, it's a life meter, buddy. Oh, is that what it is? Yes, it is. This was so fucking fake and uh, like like i have to tell people it's fake that he didn't bring a dead guy back to life of course he didn't that would but be, it's done poorly do you know how much big news that would be right it would be huge if he brought a dead guy back to life for he real would be he would be the messiah wouldn't, he wouldn't have a yeah exactly he wouldn't have a good night's sleep he's, he's basically saying he's christ right yes <laughs> and no one's covering people would be pounding at his door all night long no one's covering it. but i mean your point because people go of course it's fake or our, our point here is that these illusions are done horribly. Yeah, they're done very poorly. It's done with camera tricks, bad makeup, and actors that are supposed to be there. Horrible reaction to shots. Watch, uh, what's going on. Right. He, he uh, then, I guess, made uh, the, some elephants disappear last night. And, uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yes. Uh <laughs> But but the, the, the elephants, of course, are behind the curtains mm. in a big open field. And then he made sure he, he put ring of bystanders, right. witnesses, around the uh, curtains with the elephants in the middle. And they were all, like, cuffed together. Right. So you can't sneak the elephants out past these people. Right. But meanwhile, you, you've seen so many of these that you know everyone that's involved is fake. Or they just do the, the, the famous David Copperfield trick. They just rotate the stage until the no, Statue of was, Liberty uh, disappeared. This was totally different. You know that one, right? Did people it, know that they were doing it? I think the Copperfield, they... No, they had a stage that slowly moved. And the Statue of Liberty, they covered it. Yeah. Covered the view with, like, tapestries or curtains or whatever. And then they slowly... Slowly had a turntable that the turned, audience was on. And then they opened up the, you know, the curtains. And, the, of course, the Statue of Liberty is now gone. There's no way the audience didn't notice, oh, there's a giant statue 30 degrees to our right. No, because no. the curtain that was blocking it was now blocking the Statue of Liberty. And from where it them. actually so was now. The curtain it was actually kind of clever on Can his part. we see part. that? I went really later. That, I at that time, yeah. At that time, it was kind of clever. How do you not feel that you, you don't notice the cityscape behind you? Unless they well, get that's towards the, the Jersey way where you can't well, see Well, he figured out an angle where it would be tough to tell, I guess. Yeah, and the curtains are placed right. like they're supposed to be. You know, the biggest challenge there was trying to figure out how to move the stage without anyone really noticing yeah. it. Yeah, it's an impossibility. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think they were in on it. I really believe that. You know, yeah, I don't think that audience was in on it. No. But everybody, I mean, you can't cuff people together, have them surrounding uh, some elephants, and then all of a sudden the elephants really disappear. They, when you do tricks like that, the thing, whatever you're trying to make disappear, is always brought away from where it was, um, away from the cameras or the audience. Right. Through some kind of magic. You know, deception. Right. Yes. Let's well, so start using curtains and stuff. I'm the out. Curtains and then and, and, like, and okay, fake that's, people. That's part of the trick. People that are in on it. It's I'm such out. a gag. Why don't you just make it disappear while we're looking at it? Exactly. Yeah, that's a good point. There. Be magical. What's with the curtain? Well, Stupid curtain. In the old days, I guess it made sense in some weird way, but now it's like, as soon as you use the curtain, I'm done with you. So done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dumb so there's got to be other ways to do your illusions. You're right. Yeah. Why do you need the curtain? If you're so fucking brilliant, wouldn't you want people to see it just kind of disappear? He tried to sell the curtain as a th another thing that could keep... Needed? Yeah. He that, needed? Well, that could keep um, the elephants from going out the back. You'd see the curtains move. We'd see them if they <laughs> moved. I know! I don't need a fucking curtain to tell me that a six-ton animal is moving. <laughs> but that's our point again. Yes. It's how these illusions are done that's so stupid. Yeah, yeah. You want people to believe ridiculous things. Yeah. That's the reason he's using a curtain? Get the fuck out of here. And then he, uh, they showed his, uh, he went home to Long Island, and I guess Long Island, his, his original house. Was he born and raised on Long Island? I think so. Yeah, because it looked like Long Island. Right. Yeah, yeah, he's a Long Island guy. Yeah. And, you know, he's there with his mom and his brother, and all I'm thinking is, oh, God, we bash him, and maybe his brother listens or something. Yeah, but it's kind of bad. Yeah, <laughs> I but know. he's not taking care of his brother if he's still living in some <laughs> shitty 
house in Brentwood. <laughs> <laughs> How about uh, you make money appear for your family and yeah. get them the fuck out of Long Island? All or get them into a better town. All, all of his illusions are done so, like, they're so obvious. They And the acting is so bad. He, he walks up to a building at, at one point and um, he sees, like, this dove, this whatever, pigeon, white dove, whatever it is. Right. And it, it had flown into the window and snapped its neck. <clears throat> and it was laying on the ground, flapping a little bit, just twitching blood. And they go, oh, no, his head is severed from his body and the woman that's with him is like oh oh and the acting so bad and a couple walks up and they're like that's chris angel oh he looks so oh, bad God. and then and then he pulls the fake head right off of the pigeon thing right and then the 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 little pigeon body goes out out of frame right so that he could put his arm back and grab a pigeon that has its head tucked under the wing like they do it right so it looks like it doesn't have a head and then he's like pushing the head back on it and he's shaking and then the wings start flapping and he, oh, it's alive. Ugh. That was last night too? Uh, it was part of the marathon. It wasn't uh, last night's episode. Let me see the dead guy thing. It's so bad. How long is the dead guy? I, it was much too long, but. Uh... Oh, good. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Very apparent in those meters. In that those, those meters. Has manifests itself. It's manifests itself. itself. Okay, would you turn on your devices? Please? I'm going to bring back the dead body. And may I take them? Those devices the rest his are horrible. Life forms oh and spirits <laughs> suffer and suck attack. Look at how horrible their <laughs> devices <laughs> are, though. I know, they're little ohm meters from... They look like just old TV remotes. Yes! You completely relax in yourself. <laughs> What's why are they using a live person? Feel... Oh, you well, need her energy yes, or something? Yes, yes. See... Or is she not going to be she dead? So you have no goes without a pulse for a while. Physicality. As the dead guy gets a pulse. Won't function, even if and his body, you see body him start breathing. Who would volunteer to be dead for a little while so the other guy comes back to life? Oh, he assured her it was safe. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. he did. <laughs> he said, I guarantee you, you will leave here exactly like you did. Oh, okay. He's like, okay. Can I see your medical degree? All right. Yes. Yes, he tries to be so mystical. Chris Angel's from Levittown. That's coming in. Levittown? Did you right. feel something? Touch his dick. Yeah. See, he now he's touching the dead guy, and she's feeling it. Oh, man, that's crazy. What's going on? And I was, why does he touch his dick? You keep poking at his dick. All I would do if I was a fucking mortician. <laughs> poke their dicks. Shame them. Where are you Shame right now? Them. Where are you? At a park. She's at a park. She's got this long-winded story. You, you see, see a bench. Uh, and there's a man. Statue. And there's a tree, a big oak tree behind it. It's blowing in the wind right now. Do you feel that? What does this mean? This is nothing. A man sitting on the bench, yes? That's this dead guy. I want you to approach that man. Oh. And you will discover that man Hi. is Robert <laughs> I would like the use of two medical students. May I use both of you, please? Oh, two Stay actresses. Right I mean, you medical Hey, hey. You oh, take two frumps. Yeah. Glove and place it onto your right hand, please. Yeah, because you don't want to touch glass. the fake and I want dead you to guy. Tap the glass in a couple of moments in the rhythm of her pulse as you feel oh, the pulse. I want you See? to tap the glass. Put your hand on his neck. Oh. If you feel a pulse begin, and Chuck Berry appears I under it, you <laughs> to just interrupt me and tell me. Right. Here's the mag. He took his coat off, so here comes the magic stuff. Here comes the magic. Now he's standing between the girl and the dead guy, waving his arms out, of course, like he does because he's magic. He's looking like the he's pulse is slowing. Uh oh, it oh. is. And what those, are those things? The meters are going off. The what old, are they? The old TV remotes? Yeah. He can't even come up with something that what? looks modern. No. Yeah. Turn on the EKG. Looks like Gordon Gecko's cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, they turn on the EKG. You just killed it, a girl? Listen to the music. Oh, 
Uh, now the EKG is picking up. He's breathing. He's breathing. Wow. It's a robot. Look, his stomach's going in and out. Yeah, there's some kind of embalming fluid coming out of his mouth. Oh, the black lady just ran out of there. Oh, she's all scared. Yes. Bad he camera sits moves. the girl up. That was a dummy. Right. Why? She's crying. He's holding her. This is very good. Like she isn't an actress. No. Stop. She's a lady it's of magic. It's inexplicable. I saw the chest rise, and oh. I have no explanation. It's supposed to be a doctor, that Any guy. Meters? Did they He's going to have a tough time getting anything? a gig after yeah. this. Yes, there was a definite break in the electromagnetic field. Was there? What was field? some kind of a spirit presence. What did oh. you feel? The air getting sucked out of the room. I noticed tears in your eyes. Tell me what that's about. Uh, I'm stupid. <laughs> tears in your eyes, I guess. Yeah, yeah. As you raise so the dead. Yeah. You're getting maced. Love is so strong. Man. You saw the dead body through your tears. Right. <laughs> Did you feel? I felt out of breath. I felt displaced. I felt Very displaced. Sweaty. Shut up. Like my heart was slowing down. Why wouldn't they? No, that feeling was, what the fuck am I Why doing? Why wouldn't they have yeah. the, the fake guys, like, Tell sit us. up? About because that's your, too much. Or yeah. was it a robot? It was a robot. Or was it an actual dead guy? I think they, it was a robot. It was a robot. Yeah. I think it was a, yeah, fake dead Shack guy. Balloon. Yeah, Shack a balloon, balloon with a, a little thing inside that made his, right. his diaphragm right. look like it was moving to, to breathe. So why? A robot. And just pumps fluid out of the mouth. Yeah. yeah. So why uh, bring him back to being dead then? Because the, the woman. This, but he has this power, so why not say, fuck it, let's make this See, guy See, here's the now. gimmick. The woman has to be there. She said that you need to take someone's life in order to give someone back oh, their life. Life force. So he, oh. so he could have kept the dead guy alive, but then the woman would have been dead. But that would be damn impressive. Well, yeah. He's like Frankenstein. And, and then wheel out the broad as a, a dead person now. Yeah. If you really want to freak people out. Sorry. Leave and, him hanging and then have that guy sit up and walk out of the room. Yeah, the guy that's been dead for a week. He's then, fucking uh, rotting. He's got down the, the street. autopsy scar on him. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. He just bought that dead body at a Halloween store. Exactly. Oh. It's not true, Sam. It's true. It's a, He's a man of magic. Every one of his dumb tricks are like this. And it's so obvious that I, I am starting to think that the whole show is just a put on. But what's the payoff? Maybe the... Uh, Final episode, season episode, Maybe season that finale. He's, he's lying to everybody and, and kind of shows shows people how he did some of this shit because that'd be kind of cool. That would ruin his just, career. No, that would ruin his career. It might he, because after this is over, he's still got a huge show in Vegas. There's yeah, no yeah. way that maybe, that's what this is. Maybe yeah. he's doing shitty tricks so that he can reveal them at the end because he doesn't want to reveal his good tricks. Right, just go look. You know, I really do have magic in my blood, but I also do shitty tricks. These are all camera tricks. That's not a, ma a magician. I, I I remember with an eight millimeter camera making it look like you disappeared. That's not a magician. No. <laughs> You just but fucking it, stop the camera, move out of the way, and restart the camera. But his That's concepts true. are just <laughs> stupid. <laughs> like, she has stupid. to die for, what, 30 seconds to yeah. see this guy's, uh, you know, chest start moving up yeah. and down? So he's a temporary murderer. He right. killed her right. for 30 he seconds. He killed her for 30 seconds. Shouldn't he get a year for that? Guy. Should get a year for that in he jail. Should, should get something. Can't kill someone temporarily no. without consequences. Hey, you want magic? How about you make uh, two sandwiches appeal in my, in my lunch pail? <laughs> How about you get a job in on time, huh? yeah. right? How about you, yeah, you want magic? How about you get the, electri uh, the electricians to do their job? Ah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Sad but true. <laughs> I think this is why Chris, uh, uh, David Blaine does like a big trick once every two or three years. Right. right. Because when you got to do one every week, it's just, you just put shit on TV. That's it's nice language. Shit. Sorry. It's shit. It's Hockey. utter shit. The Shaq like, Balloon is Shaq still Ballone. the greatest Ballone. thing ever. Yeah. That he's Shaq done. Ballone is the Maybe that, that'll be the season finale, though. It'll be like, well, Carrot Top had this Shaq Balloon. You know, people, let me Shaq borrow Ballone. it. Our followers were killing Chris Angel over oh, Shaq <laughs> Balloon. Man. Just killing oh. him and not one response oh. from any Chris Angel fan or Chris Angel himself. <laughs> he just got killed. Oh, well, wait till they see Dead Mannequin. <laughs> Dead Mannequin. Dead Mannequin is good. Yeah, Dead Mannequin. Yeah. It doesn't <laughs> have the same ring as Shaq. Shaq no, Ballone. Shaq Balloon is the best. All right. Yeah, so that was... Um...
And the elephants, how did he do the elephant thing? I don't know. I'm just thinking that they had the ring of people around the elephants. They pull up the curtains around the elephants. Can you uh, show me that, Sam, And then fast? they say, drop the curtains and the elephants are gone. I'm sure there's just a camera cut somewhere. Right, like he cuts the camera. Cuts the camera, gets rid of the elephants. I want to see. The, I want to see the quick setup and then the reveal. It's outside. Maybe you could see where the shadows are. Yeah. Maybe we could figure out how long it Follow actually. Follow the shadows. Took. That's where. Yeah. Copperfield blew it for me at his Vegas show. I just got one question. Are you ready? What is he oh, doing here? Hey, yeah. What is he doing here? It's gonna the elephants. the elephants disappear. Elephants on a football field. They're oh, surrounded please. by drapes. Oh, I thought he was in the, the safari. Oh. You can't even do that. <laughs> they don't have a travel budget. No. I'm going to ask for the human chain to kind of... That's great. These abused, beaten animals. Poor well, things. Look, gang, the, the, the shadows are definitely going with yeah, but the... The elephants could already be gone. The yard line. Yeah. Like, he puts up three walls. Oh, there they are. All right. Yeah. All right, so now right. the fourth curtain Please goes up. Fourth curtain goes up. Wait, right. Kristen, wave to me, Kristen. And the people me? make a chain on three out of the four sides. Oh, no, they're okay. all around, aren't they? No. There's a peanut. No. Right? None of these shots are steady shots. No. They all have breaks in them. Right. Right. Any one of these, it's just they just simply put the wall down and exactly. have the elephants walk away. Of course. Exactly. Go ahead. Okay. I'm gonna give you a peanut. Here you go. There's a peanut. Here you go. Are you ready? Oh, ready? Yeah, someone dug a hook into the elephant's fucking nose and pulled it out. Yeah, the, the elephants are gone. They just walked away. All right, so it's obvious what's going on here. They got the crowd on only one side. So the people making the chain are obviously in on it, and then the elephants go out the back. Right. Or they're just splicing this applause right, from something else. Right, right. Oh, yes, no, because exactly. they, 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 they try to use the real people to, you know... Yeah, just, they would have seen the elephants to sell the, the illusion. Area. Not if you know it. You could, you could take them straight back out, and they're not going to see them at all. Look how it's set up. You saw the YouTube video, too, where he was fucking up his tricks, uh -huh. right. and they said the louder you cheer, the more likely you are to be on television. Right. Mm -hmm. Here's what they, what I've heard they do. The people in the human chain are in on it. That's yeah, obvious. yeah, they're in on it. The audience, they, the audience could see the elephants, and they put up the, uh, the final. What are they calling the fourth it? Fourth wall. The fourth wall. Yeah. And as they put up the, the final wall, that's right in front of the people that they want to trick. They drop the back wall, and the elephants just walk straight out of the fucking uh, stadium. I don't believe that. It was a man of magic. They were all cuffed. <laughs> and that's they all. do things where the audience sometimes sees. How phony it is! They, they, but they're applauding for like the preliminary act, right? Like right. he'll do some kind of amazing thing to get but the reaction shot. My problem is if you're in on, you know, this audience shot, yeah. Right away, I'm like, oh, we're only allowed to stay here. This is ridiculous. Well, yeah, yeah, it is ridiculous. And, and everyone's trying to figure out magic tricks these days, so you gotta, you gotta trick them better. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. yeah. But as soon as you know you can only stay in one area, you know exactly how the trick is done. Exactly. I mean, there is no trick here. You're just it's like, terrible. okay, stop the camera, stop the camera. No, I think that's what I think. I don't know. No, I think they just walked them out the back. Let's see where they could have walked the elephants. They could have walked them out the back let, easily. Let, let, let me see. It's a big Go open. Go to the setup field. shot again. Because I want to see what's behind. Okay, there. Yeah, right see, they there. can walk right out. There's no, there's nothing stopping them from just walking all the way to the uh, the goal line. Yeah, but what you'd somebody you'd, would see them. Yeah, you'd see them on Ooh. one or somebody. Look at how tight they even. The crowd is on uh, one side and they're squished even together. But it can be done. You see them go to the right or the left. Yeah, they can make noise. The other might make noise walking out. <laughs> See Instead of having the people 10 to 12 deep, why uh -huh. would they spread them all the way out to the sidelines? They don't want them near the sidelines, obviously. Plus they would have why to... wouldn't you give them better, uh, a better vantage point? They'd have to leave Unless the... you don't want them in that area. They have to leave the curtains up for like 15 minutes. Well, that's the thing. See, that's where the edit is for the TV show. Just cutting all that time. Yeah, so there, he must be fucking around, blah, 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 giving the elephants time to do it, and then they do it in post, the, uh, the quick where, edit. Where do they go, to the left or the right, once they, they go reach straight the end? straight out, man. Where, though? 
there's no after the end zone. There's trees there. It just keeps going. Oh my god! There's no seats. A mile away. But that's the trick. He probably takes his damn time. You know, yapping with the crowd, joking with them and stuff. I don't know about that. I'm telling you. Dude, I think it's that's just the trick. pure camera. Yeah, yeah I do too. And I, think, I think it's an edit to take. Where it probably they... takes five minutes to get him out of there, and they probably you know chop it down in the edit to a quick you know thirty seconds. But somebody, here's my thing: those drapes are not high enough to conceal all the way back. Like the drapes, if if that was the twenty people feet to the ground, you're not going to see over the drapes ever. I still don't think you can conceal. And why that aren't they? Back. Uh, the, the giveaway is there. The people aren't all the way to the sidelines. He's forcing them to be 10, uh -huh. 12 back. Right. So he doesn't want them on the sidelines. But where obviously. do they go? Let's say because the then you would see him in the distance. Where do they go though? Let's say the offense goes straight back. They go back. straight back. To where, obviously, though? there's a scoreboard. I think it's and probably so, something right under the scoreboard is where is the out. It's just a truck there, and they get into Maybe. the truck and drive away. Maybe, or, or behind those trees. It's the si look at the sideline. That's the giveaway. Maybe Why doesn't they, he want him by the sideline? Maybe they See turn here him to the right. Here that they stop at midfield. Sure. Maybe they turn him to the right. Huh? Maybe they go out and then turn him around that. But corner. people would see that. But somebody would. No, see, I think the risk of being seen he, is too big. No, yeah. he already figured that out by not having him all the way to the sidelines. I'm going to obsessively say that over and over again because look at look at the the vantage point for most of these people. They have five, six, seven, eight people in front of them. Right. Mm. They're I think played again to show the crowd. Because mm. all those people would not be in on it. The people that are making the, the human chain have to be in on it. Because if... Let's raise... Hold on. The back curtain up. See, those people, you got to know, are in on it. The okay. human chain. So let's blow them off. The, but you, you can't have the whole stadium in, in on it. Okay, well, you're going to bend around the contour of the curtain. Those are all his friends, family members of his staff. Yeah, see how narrow of Look how narrow the stairs. viewing area is. And he forces people to be way the fuck back. Look. Come on, he go back, set go that back up one purposely. Second. Go back one second, Tim. Watch. This is, this is why I'm not sure about that. Because when you go here, if there was something right behind him, I would... But go, go right to where they show that back angle. Where can they go? They just like, walk straight back. They look, take right their there. fucking time. And then in post, he cuts down what probably was a 10-minute a bullshit session with him. There's a fence. And make it there. quick. Right? Yeah, that is a fence there's behind a fence. the trees. What happens is you go back there. You can't there. really see if there's a, an exit at the fence or anything. You can't see. They'd have to turn to the right, but they may turn to the right. All right, maybe they do. You know, there's a reason why he doesn't have them all the way out to the sidelines, right. period. See how much longer the shadows are. If you had to wait that long, it might have the been. shadows would have been. I mean, long. how long does it take elephants to go? It looks like 40 yards, maybe. But you, you know, to... that could be less than five minutes, really. That's a, that's a couple minutes. Crazy. And then he just edits that down in post with a cut shot. I don't know. Yeah, I think camera. I, I think his camera's the simplest solution. Yeah. It's, it's the easy. Like, he does something to get them crazy. And We're going to have to agree to disagree on this one, gentlemen. Yeah. I yeah. think it's. I think that's not selling me on work. that. Just, I think he would have gotten. I think he needs some people in the not in on it. Oh, I, I don't think that the audience is in on it. At right. All. I agree with you. I think they're not in on it, but I think they're cheering for something else, and he's just splicing that together like they're cheering for the amazing trick. Yeah. I don't. Cause I don't see how you would. Let's watch. You walk. You walk him straight back, and then you know the exit. I'm not really sure of, but. Are we ready? Yeah. yeah. He even makes the shot of the audience tight, like they could be all the way to the sidelines. Raise it up! Raise it up! Kristen! Wave to me, Kristen! Are you up there? Wave! Mm hmm. <laughs> so there's the cut. Yeah, they keep cutting. That's the cut, because they need to cut down the time of the, uh, the illusion. And look, they're only tightly in the center of the field. I can't even drop the curtain right. I went straight back, period. See, look, why would you have people 20 deep when they could be on the sidelines? Especially if it doesn't matter if you're going to do a cut shot. Uh, let me say hi to Jessica in New Jersey. Jessica. Hi, 
Hi, how are you? All, All right, Jessica. what's up? So um, the math magician did a thing on this trick where, like, they show you how he does it. Right. It's, you'll try to find the clip online. It's basically like there's a fake scenery that they put the elephant behind so that you can't see him with the camera angle. A fake what? Fake scenery. Fake scenery. Yeah, so he doesn't really go that far away. He's, like, maybe 30 feet away, you know, and he's hiding behind what looks like this big is, trees. This is an outdoor thing in a football stadium, unless there's but just no camera work. Like a fake, uh, a fake fucking um, this scoreboard. Is or something yeah. like it's just all right. Fake. Here's magic revealed, and it right, looks very let's see. similar to the exact same. Trick. Okay, all right, let's all see. All right, the magician seeing exactly what the witnesses <clears throat> wow, nothing unusual here, no, other than a man in a red shirt and Whoa. a scary black mask. Wow, we've now walked to the other side of the sheet. Is this the Chris Angel There's trick? There's nothing extreme. I mean, it, or, it no, but like it, or is this, this that trick in general, or is he specifically addressing Chris Angel? No, I don't think no, he's no, I mean, this Chris is, Angel no, that's the problem with Chris did. Angel. He does a lot of tricks okay. that have been done a million fucking times, yeah, too. That's how you know. He's a hack. Like he's trying yeah. to put his own little spin on it. But there is his. It, he's not even doing his own spin. The curtains even look the same. I, exactly. Uh, the yeah. magician has already shown how to do this. That's trick. why yeah. Penn and Teller are brilliant yeah. because they spend ridiculous amounts of time coming up with new illusions and they actually and, and, create. They, and they're not satisfied until it's it's done perfectly. Illusions. And then they finally bring it to the public. Yeah, Penn has said many times on our show some of these things they do it takes years. Yeah. For them to figure it out right. Let's see here. what this guy is up to. The magician commands his assistants to bring in the sides of the sheet, forming a large three-sided box. Now to close it up. He commands the smaller sheet to be raised to form the front of the box. Okay. Not much of a trick, but there it is. A big fabric box in the middle of a parking lot. Okay, okay. trick. Maybe he's not done. He tells his assistants to hang on firmly to the large sheets as they battle the wind. This is the high cost of doing a trick outside. That's exactly what... One final command for the TV audience to keep our eyes on the box, and the magician prepares to reveal the results of his conjuring. Oh, my God. Let's watch. What do you know? A five-ton elephant. Oh, it's the reverse. Yeah, he makes it appear. Where did he come from? He was definitely not on the witness list. <laughs> the girls are impressed. Maybe the masked magician can do real magic after this is all. This the exact same trick. Yeah. Except Chris Angel spins so to reverse it. how does the magician make the elephant I not appear pause, I, I see how we do it. In the middle oh. of the lot. They cut a hole in the parking lot, and they <laughs> lower it. And then they raise oh. the elephant, and then they quickly uh, have a truck come in and seal it up. <laughs> and re, re uh, yeah, pave it. The fucking thing walks from the back. It, that's obvious. Let's see what he says. And that's what Chris Angel did. By spectators. Is that tree fake back there? It sounds impossible. It does. It is. Here are the secrets. Oh. First off, let's start with the group of spectators. The secret here is... They're in on They're us. all in on the same. Yes. All right, so, so far I'm The magician I'm right. has no trouble positioning them in a circle since they've been rehearsed. Right. This 360-degree walk is designed to convince us that the parking lot is empty and free of wandering elephants. Here you go. Next, the large sheet is raised. Again, we can see the surrounding parking lot appears empty, but appearances are deceiving. We know he had to be hiding somewhere in this vast, seemingly empty lot. But where? We've been looking at his hiding place the entire time. What? Don't you remember seeing it? You did. What? Constructed near a group of trees by the edge of the lot is a painted Hollywood backdrop and some fake trees. Holy this shit. is the elephant's hiding place. Oh. Sound far-fetched? It's true. And chances are, it fooled you. Oh. Even though this looks like a setup that a cartoon roadrunner might use to trick a wily e. coyote, it's actually an effective hiding place for the elephant and his trainer. No one would ever expect a real pachyderm could be stashed away behind some phony trees in the middle of a parking lot, completely <laughs> well, undetected. Of football field, right. But the farther away the yeah. camera travels, the more deceptive the phony setup ah, looks. There you go. See it now? When you know it's there, it's much easier to spot. Yes. The trick is that you didn't see it the first time because you didn't know where to look. Wow. This continuous camera angle from the illusion is low and only shows the front side of the sheet. The trick only works from this perspective, because as the sheet is raised, <laughs> the, the elephant elephants. begins to approach from the rear. <laughs> so Angel just walked the elephants out the back. Right. We should watch from that again. From this high angle, 
and you can find see the, the elephant uh, walking to the th and the key here is that it, it takes some time so that's where you guys are right with the fucking edit Let's to, to uh, knock down the time from whatever would take two yeah, minutes no. to get the elephants is out. It, I think Obi's absolutely. Maybe right. there's a fake. If there's a fake thing put in, that's I'm sure definitely possible. Is, yeah. Okay, yeah, but well, you're a not... fake thing. There was no way he was walking him that far. Right. But this makes sense. I think he could also sense. just walk him that far and just get rid of it in the edit. Let's see. Now that we thing. know to look for it, let's see if we could find yeah, the this secret thing. hiding place before elephants. <laughs> oh, there it is. That fat woman's vagina. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> It's gonna be hard to, to see the fake quiet. area though on TV like this. Yeah. So you can blend it in. It's probably the scoreboard. And there's people. Yeah. It probably is the scoreboard. It's something to do Hold with on. that scoreboard. Area. What? Do we know what field that is? Um, no. Not offhand. I think it's like a. A high school problem. No, no, but, but, but all it has to do, be is the, the trees, like. Right. Yeah. Giving the illusion that the trees are oh, way right. far. Wait a minute, maybe it's the scoreboard. It could be. Wait, it looks like there's a scoreboard in front of the scoreboard. It could be. Does it? Yeah, it's, that is something. It looks like there's something in front of the actual scoreboard looking like another scoreboard. Like between the goalposts? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Missouri State. That's Missouri State. So let's take a real look at the real Missouri oh, State oh. <laughs> field and see if that's... Look at us trying to debunk this. Yeah, something fake. It was, oh, obvious. Yes. It was obvious that he, he walked the elephants out the back. Mm. So obvious. Yeah. I mean, he had to. Be real. Because, I mean, the people in the human chain, yes, you got to... They're in on it, obviously, but you can't have the whole yeah. crowd in on it because well, you you do want some fucking dummies and their reactions. Is that the scoreboard that right looks, there? Okay, so this is where he was in the, in the middle of the field. There look to be more trees. Yeah, there are definitely more, more trees. More trees. Yeah, back <laughs> there's <laughs> no <laughs> real trees. Wait a minute, it goes right to a parking <laughs> lot. It goes right to. Well, it looks like from the other angle. It might be unless, a scoreboard. Unless on the, other the other side has the trees. Yeah, try to get the full field. Maybe that whole fence area was fake. Dude, that, to the it, left of the scoreboard, there were more trees. A lot of trees. That <laughs> yeah, goes right to a lot. The parking lot was definitely on this side. Unless there's parking lots on both sides. Check the other side and just see. See if you got a better shot of the, yeah, uh, the stadium. Whole field. <laughs> Come on, Sam. You're not finding it. Why, you think there'd be two scoreboards? Oh, yeah, there is probably. Oh, look. It I has to be. I don't know. There's no real yeah, trees. No, look, we were There's at no the... trees on either side, really. It's There's not, some. It's not the part. We were just looking at the parking lot side. Right. So the other, the other side, side has even less trees. So this is what we were just <laughs> looking at. Yeah. <laughs> this is 100% the same area. Now, okay. let's see. Uh, the and Chris there's no Angel trees. One. Look. There was all trees back here. <laughs> come, on, come on. So the scoreboard isn't fake, but the trees right behind the scoreboard are fake. Look at this. Look, it's oh, all trees. Come on. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris Angel's so fake. There's an elephant behind those uh, trees. Come uh, on. Nice. Now let's see. I want so to see they, if they can pick that up. So they did walk uh, quite a way. They I probably mean, did, yeah. But they had a lot of elephants. So, I mean, but Chris Angel's really good at distracting the right. crowd. It fools around with them a little bit. And they hit him behind all those fake trees, which are a lot closer than they appear. And the whole thing. No, with, they're not. Uh, no, because you could see the uh, the end zone or or the track that goes around the the stadium. That's yeah, pretty obvious. They're at least behind that. So they're at least behind that. So I I really believe they had to walk them a real long way. Big elephant footprints. See, they had to walk them all the way to say, yeah, that's similar. There's, there's no trees at all. There's on absolutely this one side. no fucking not. trees. Find me the other angle, the other side too. So the well, trick it goes it. like this. No, it no took a while to get the side. elephants out the back. Yeah. Chris Angel babbles for a while with the crowd, and then in post they go to that that cut, and then that's to that to chop down the actual time like, it, it took. Where he t uh, asked that guy like, "Oh, you got to hold on because the wind is blowing it or something." Right, he right. did say something to one of the right. So that was the distraction yeah. for the people, and like, that probably went a lot longer than um, right. what they showed on TV. And I think you get the elephants out within two minutes. Yeah, probably within a minute to be honest with you, a little over a minute maybe. But for TV, that's a long time. That's pretty funny. You can take 10 minutes. You can just strike the That's what I'm saying. You take minutes. them. Yeah, because yeah, you can fool around with other shit. Because they're like, okay, the elephants are obviously in there. We see the human chain. Like, so like, they're not. I'm they're swallowing not, a sword. Yeah, they're not sitting there going, why right. is this taking so fucking long? They don't care. <laughs> if, you're, if you uh, can entertain them uh, during that time. Oh, that Chris Angel. What a piece of shit. <laughs> 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 but this is, I got to say it again. 
I know we say the same shit over and over again at times on this show, but this is where he's a lazy fuck with his illusions. Yeah. Look how easy it was for us to just Google image the stadium and see yeah. how the stadium is actually. <laughs> and also just do a YouTube search for the magician, mass right. magician reveal. But, right. Reveals it. But as Chris Angel, that's your business. When you do that and go, okay, fuck. So people know how this trick's right. done. So now I got to do it in a way where it tricks them. And where, where they go, wait a minute, that's not how I saw it done. Or I got to stop worrying about looking pretty and actually think of a new trick. Right. <laughs> or I got to find a stadium that people can't look up online. <laughs> right. Because there's no trees at this fucking stadium. No. You Google it. Not like that anyway. No. Wow. He put a lot of trees in there. He put what a about those forest. Ford elephants. What about those light? You see those light posts? Yeah, it looks like in between the light posts. In between posts those light posts. There's a little shenanigan going what on. What are those? Those like... Uh, the light posts. The, uh, here, that here, and... That. Yeah. You, you mean the posts that are holding up the fucking facade? Thank you. Yeah. So go back to the other shot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> where are the real trees at? There's none of that there. It's exactly <laughs> the real trees and where the light posts begin. Wait, how do we know? Hold on. Wait, how you see the light posts in the actual stadium shot? No. 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 <laughs> okay. Because that's where the trees are. How do we know that that's the, we're not looking at the other side? Because the other side is a field. Yeah. And there are cars back here. Behind you the see trees. cars? Yeah, we saw them. You could see them throughout the trick. I don't see know. right there. Look at this. What's yeah. that? Oh, those are all oh, the cars. Right, yeah. right. So there's a car right there. It's a, the parking lot is behind this. Okay. Yeah. So they're using the parking lot side that yeah, you can look up online is, for yourself. This that's whole fake. shit is fake. Right. And and you see the the, the, the <laughs> actual poles with the fake scenery. Can you imagine yeah. if one of the you trees can't even figure that out? A tree fell over. How great would that be if a tree blew over? <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's held up by fake light posts. Yeah. Now the fake light posts. If, if could you zoom in on that somehow? I, mm. This I can't. Yeah, can you? Yeah, because I want to see how they he blended the fake trees with the real trees. Yeah, can you take a can you take a screen picture and then we can zoom in? I need to do that. Take a uh, screen oh, I don't know. I know you can fucking click. Right. Uh, I, don't I don't know, know what the because I want to see how the like. trees are blended in. There's got to be a way to do it. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or just make the uh, yes. Maybe make the video full screen. Can you see anything? Enhance. 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 Need some kind of a um. Oh God! Put an MS Paint. Oh, zoom in. Zoom in. Oh. Oh man, look at you. He's working this. You are working this keyboard. What I'm are you revealing. doing? Who uses paint? Here we go. Okay. All right. All right, let's see this. Not even you, but right, let's see this. Now we're zooming in. Zoom. Keep zooming. Zoom. All right, hold go on. to the sides. Okay. <laughs> I do see right there. <laughs> look, at, look at the green on this tree versus the green on the Yes, <laughs> that is half a tree. Half He's, a fake tree. And there's so much more bright. <laughs> All right. Like, look at the freshness of this green life. And then those uh, trees... Oh, then it... <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, Chris. <laughs> look at... Oh, Chris. Okay, I don't look, see any difference here. Look, you see oh, how... I can totally see oh, it. You see how these trees are literally in front of those? Right. You can see the depth of field is totally different from this tree to that right, tree. Zoom in again. Right. You know why? Because there's an elephant behind this look one. Look at the bottom of it. Right. Look at where it meets the ground. Look at this. It's a straight line. Yes. Like a facade. Right. Wow, that's a what a hunk of shit. Now, the only thing I I add to this is, could he be using real trees just to make the trick a little different? I bet he could. Oh. You know what I mean? Just yeah. haul in a whole bunch of uh, new trees, fake trees, it's fake a combination. Trees. Yeah, of fake foliage and real yeah, foliage, and painting, right. and, and then and then yeah. That's also. I mean, the mass magician had some real trees too. Yes, he did. So. He did. But what an idiot that he doesn't realize that everyone could just Google these days and you could Google the stadium the trick was in and yep. you could just see how ridiculous it is. Exactly. See, yeah, at, there are real trees in there. The, it's literally just a big version of the mass magician's facade. Right. He put yeah. some real trees. With real trees in front of the, the, the canvas that needs to completely block the elephants. And then the canvas has fake shit on it, fake trees and stuff. What a buffoon. All right. We're just obsessed with this. I know. Yeah, I know. You're right, though. He did what you are absolutely right. He walked him back. We Fuck. are obsessed. Mm. That's a, f a false front. <laughs> mm. Well, yeah, that was the only missing piece of the puzzle. Where's yeah. the exit? Yep. And he didn't have to put him on either side. He could have done this trick anywhere. Would have been where it would have been a lot harder to Google <laughs> the, the place he was doing it at. At least block out the big Missouri state right. thing. He right. He doesn't care. No.
He's just trying to put together some cheap he television. Care. He's just trying to put his lies together. He's going to try to sell some Vegas tickets. Yeah. All right, now that we bored the hell out of the audience, we got Brandon Steiner coming in, oh. and he's going to give away a lot of cool stuff. That's right. He's actually got me. I, I signed a bunch of baseballs and footballs. You and that's did? Really good. Yes. Oh, I can't wait to get those. Got some NHL game-used no. hockey sticks. <laughs> Steiner Sports NHL game-used hockey stick ice scraper. I have no idea what that is. Mm. What is he using old hockey sticks and making ice scrapers out of them, maybe? It? Uh, iconic college coach Bob Knight quote autographed piece. Wow. That's like a $500 value. Lou Holtz autographed play like a Me champion day. today. Photograph Tom Brady. Uns oh, unsigned walking with hands up. What? I don't know what that is. Signed by somebody. I think I'm guessing the photographer. Signed by Hauser. Okay. Wings? He'll explain well, this. Hauser. He'll explain this stuff, but, uh. Stand by if you like sports memorabilia because oh. you've got a very good chance of winning some stuff today. Alright, well that sucked. To hear the Opie and Anthony show five days a week live on satellite radio, online on your phone or tablet or even on demand, go to SiriusXM.com. Also, interact with the Opie and Anthony show on Twitter, at Opie Radio, at Anthony Cumia, and at Jim Norton.